Sorry to keep you waiting. I won the Go to the Moon contest. I've been up here for nine months. It was supposed to be two weeks, but the virus hit again, and then you went bankrupt, and your partnership with Dash Communications and Malador Rockets collapsed. I, I don't understand it, but you've got to get me back. Please. I'd be happy to help you with that. Oh. All requests for refunds are being processed through our app and will be reviewed in the order in which they are received. No, no, I, I don't want a refund. You don't want a refund? I didn't buy a ticket. Oh. Uh, how did you hear about us? I won the... I think it's quite difficult to maintain um, this type of conceit when there's a limited setting. And I thought that the piece uh, worked really hard and it worked well in sort of maintaining um, a sense of humor and a sense of cohesion, uh, given that they had to play out the entire sequence through basically uh, video chat setups. But I thought that they worked well trying to give the piece a sense of scope. And I thought that the lead um, actor in particular had a great sense of emotional range that I thought um, reflected a level of self-awareness around um, the construct that I've helped make a, a level of humor uh, make sense and his uh, descent and uh, his mental descent, I thought, also was played out uh, quite realistically. And I felt that across uh, the episodes, his um, interaction with um, those on screen sort of reflected different versions of himself and allowed him to sort of um, uh, pull different kinds of humor from the situation and allowed for the uh, the very strange ending set up with the um, uh, alien life forms arriving. I thought the piece uh, still maintained a sense of style, um, even although it didn't have that much room to operate in. So I thought it was... Um, uh, cleverly done. I'm assuming this was around COVID time because it looks like it's on Zoom, which I think was um, a very good use of um, Zoom and making a story that um, kind of ties into the pandemic and ties into having to film things in different rooms and kind of together. I think it worked very well. Um, I think the idea of being sent into space, but getting stuck there because of COVID is very interesting. And honestly, I can imagine the U.S. getting into a situation like that because it's really stupid, but like in a, in a way that's like so whimsical and so funny that like, of course, you can make a whole premise off of it. So I thought it was really funny. Um, I think that it's also, a, I think, a very interesting um, subtle theme about isolation and, um, you know, kind of trying to like reconnect in a way and kind of, I guess, using space as a way to show distance, but like legitimate distance and wanting to come back and connect, but not having the resources and all that. I think that was actually very interesting. Um, I loved how Alan was able to have the different conversations with people because it was different levels of caring and different levels of gaslighting. So there was that as well. And I thought that was very interesting. I really liked kind of how they approached everything because I thought that it was really, really fun and really, really it's like a, a good way to kind of approach that situation where like clearly he is like losing touch <laughs> with with everything and like makes a lot of sense. He's completely alone and has been for months. And so I in like having to sit through the you know, on holds, trying to get answers, things like that. Like, how can he help? What can he do? Like, he's trapped, like, with no exit strategy. Um, so I really liked kind of how they slowly had him absolutely losing it. And then, like, trying to pull himself back together, but, like, the damage has been done. Like, he is, he is gone. Um, so I really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was really fun. I really liked the concept. And I really liked, like I said, how they kind of presented it in the format of it. I thought it was a creative idea, you know, for a web series or whatever, like the whole, like you do doing it, recording over FaceTime, like the whole thing is over FaceTime. Actually, I would say I like, because the thing about it is it's a sci-fi story. It's like a world building story type thing. And it's like, I think surprisingly effective, the FaceTime format. I think y'all made the best of it and y'all made to the point where it's like, it's almost better being told in this FaceTime way because it's like, you don't have to worry about like stretching yourself thin by trying, doing yourself a disservice by trying to do like bad special effects, bad CGI or whatever, whatever. It's like, you don't run that risk because it's simple. It's like simplified. And if anything, it forces you to be more creative and it draws the audience in of like, Oh, they did it like this. They do it like that. They do it like this. Like, so I like. I I really. I think. I think. This is a great use of like the FaceTime Zoom format. Like, I thought it was creative and well executed. I feel like this one is strong in terms of um, 
how to shoot like the series like remotely because like there's no such scene that like character is gonna spend time together in the same frame it's gonna be like you know like a zoom window kind of there but it's still making sense and i think it's kind of like a good way to portray like making like a series about like traveling out to the moon like in this way and also like it's still funny with you know with the dialogues with the comics so it's kind of like making sense like to make it out in this way the performance is good the version is good and it's already well edited as a web series as well